we're gonna skip the tacos today for something I would say <laughs> a little more exotic. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Okay, well a restaurant known for its rebellious take on fine dining is launching a brand new menu with coastal seafood influences, mm, Paul. Yum, I love that. They're also incorporating local Texas produce along with it as well. And Clark is getting a taste of one of their new menu items. So Clark, you gonna make us a little seafood today? Yes, I sure am, Paul, and I'm really excited because it is so simple, it's going to shock you, but the flavors are just robust and exciting and vibrant, just in time for summer and of course in time for all this heat because we're looking for refreshing dishes. So Chef we Stefan, are. thank you so much for having me My out pleasure. this morning. Tell me, we're at Rebel right now. How long has this been a staple inside the St. Anthony? Okay, Rebel opened in October of December, sorry, October of 2015. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's been eight years. It's been eight years been eight and years. you're going strong. And this is a pretty popular item on your menu. You told me earlier that you brought it back, right? I did. We had this item over at Feast or another restaurant that I, I had. Mm -hmm. We put it on the menu at Rebel for a brief period of time. Didn't seem to click. And then just recently, we've really kind of recharged the menu, so we put it right back on and sort of fine-tuned it and got it back where it was back in the good old days. And now we get to make it and see all the little secrets to the deliciousness that is this dish. So this is called a fatouche salad. It has right. ahi in it. Right. What's the first step? So the first step is it's pick your poison. Grab whichever ingredient you want and okay. throw it in a bowl. So typically, fatouche salad has uh, pita bread that's torn. Okay. Uh, in this case, we're using sourdough breadcrumbs that we make. Okay, Give is this enough breadcrumb or can I perfect. add more? Nope, All right, that's cool. perfect. What's this? That is red bell pepper. Red bell pepper. Okay, so I'm just kind of mm -hmm. perfect. eyeballing it. And then we got sun gold tomatoes. I love, I could eat these like candy. They're like candy. Yes, they're delicious. Okay. And then we got cucumber there. Okay, nice and diced. I noticed that there aren't any seeds in this. No, we take the seeds out. We're fancy. Mm hmm, gotta be a little fancy. Okay, and then you have the ahi tuna that can go in there. Okay, and how much of this should I use? Just throw it all in. Oh, yes. Oh, Just give it that all. was the answer I was looking for, Chef. I love ahi tuna. I love uh, poke bowls. And so... That's essentially what this could be. This is gorgeous. I love seeing all these colors. It looks so fresh. And of course, we cannot have a fatouche salad without the vinaigrette. Right. But I want to walk through the process of how you make your signature make vinaigrette. So yes. The fatouche is, is the salad, but the this is a sumac vinaigrette. Okay. And that's the principal ingredient that we have here. So we're going to start by using uh, a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar. Okay, so white wine vinegar. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. And is this about, was that two tablespoons of white yeah, wine vinegar? Yeah, it's about two roughly? tablespoons Okay, of okay. And then we'll add a little, we'll add the extra virgin olive oil. We use extra virgin olive oil in this because we want that flavor. A we don't want to use the We don't want the neutral oil. We do some cayenne pepper. A little pinch? Uh-huh. Okay. Love well, cayenne. That's up to your discretion. Then we I'll roll a into more. a little bit of sugar and salt. Okay, so there. I love that you use sugar to balance this out. You got Everyone it. makes fun of me because oh, I put helps. sugar in my spaghetti sauce. Okay. And it brings out the vibrance, I promise you. There's garlic powder, there's salt, and then I add a tiny bit of sugar and it just it adds that depth. Yeah, it does, yeah, and it complements awesome. the tomatoes if they're a little bitter or sour. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just added the garlic, and then we'll finish it up, and you can add this fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. Mm -hmm. Okay. It already smells so good. And, now, and then the last but not least, the most important ingredient, you can take about two big fat pinches of that sumac. Okay. Which everybody's probably terrified of hearing me say that's the ingredient, <laughs> but doesn't get to make you itch. Okay. Okay, and then we mix that in, and mix you'll see in. the color starts to get really pretty. Oh wow, that's awesome. Takes on a purple sort of hue. Mm -hmm. And what else would this be good on outside of the ahi? Oh, this is killer on grilled shrimp. If you're into vegetarian things, any kind of grilled vegetable, I would suggest anything grilled. So this is a perfect complement to any kind of summertime uh, dish that you're preparing it in, in your backyard. Okay, I like that. Okay, so here is, this is the vinaigrette. You can see the oil kind of rose to the top, but mm -hmm. check it out. So, and we'll that do, color. Mm -hmm. oh. And we'll do a little more sumac in there. A little bit more. Let's give it that okay. color. Yeah, I want Let's a little bit more of that. There we go, look at that. That'll look better on the camera. <laughs> All right. It'll look better in this salad. <laughs> and so, okay, we use a really fancy word, fatouche. Let's Tell see. me a little bit about what a fatouche salad exactly is. Fatouche salad is a, is a Mediterranean salad. Mm -hmm. It's very popular in Palestine, in Israel, anywhere in the Middle East. It's okay. a super popular Middle Eastern salad that typically uses pita bread. 
That is, is really working? good. Even yeah. All a minute like that. We yeah. Can, all right. Yeah, it's awesome. The perfect amount of salt, salt perfect. and the EVOO too. And so do I just drizzle this right on top? Just yeah. Use your own discretion on how much you want to put in there, and then there it is. And then once okay. it's that's perfect, and then you just toss it around and toss until it. It's, you really feel like the croutons are coated with the vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. And you said that this is like pita bread croutons as well, right? Typically, yeah. These are these are sourdough. Oh, you we use get sourdough really nice here. sourdough That's bread right. here. Okay. We don't use it all, so then we just turn it into croutons. So That's so cool. No waste. Okay. All and these now, colors are gorgeous. Ooh, you yes. Can, we'll bring this plate over to you. Mm -hmm. There. And you can just start to beautifully plate it right into the center of that right bowl. Right into the center. Let me turn it this way. There we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh. All of it? All of it. What? Yeah. This would feed, you know, three to four people easily. This is a nice, we want to make a, a big, you know nice what? fat salad. Or it could feed me or, three yeah. times or in the day if I wanted to go back to it. <laughs> I love And then love we this. garnish it with a little bit more sumac powder on top okay. just to give it a little bit of texture. A little sumac powder. Oh, that's beautiful. And a little bit of thyme goes on top. And for your produce as well. So this is locally grown produce. It has a really cool backstory too. It does. Everything that's in this bowl is locally grown. It's mm -hmm. grown by Larry and Linda Starnes that are out of BB, Texas. Uh -huh. They're just by Sutherland Springs. They're in their mid 70s growing this produce underneath the buzzsaw that is the Texas heat. <laughs> and, that is uh, incredible. And these to me, these vegetables, these, and this is the best part of the season with them. They get amazing peppers, amazing tomatoes, just a whole lo large varieties of heirlooms, and they're just explosive with flavor and just the real deal. I believe it. While this is exploding with flavor and I take a bite out of it, of course, we have this beautiful ahi filet. Tell yes. me about the seafood that you're bringing into Rebel so, and the quality of it. For sure. So we have this ahi filet out here just to demonstrate that our tuna at the restaurant is fresh. We don't bring in frozen product. This is a good example of a really strong tuna, a, tuna ahi tuna loin. Mm -hmm. It's called a number one loin. It's the best loin that we can get here in San Antonio from our seafood purveyors. We just want to bring the best to you. Chef, this is the bomb. Yeah, and that's not, so refreshing. The cucumbers, I'm not really a huge fan of cucumbers too, but when they're diced like that, it adds that yeah. perfect amount. And that fatouche on there gives it the acidity and brings them to life. It's beautiful. Where can people go for more information about reservations and checking out this menu? Absolutely. You can go to www.rebelsanantonio.com uh, mm -hmm. and you can also go to Rebel SA on Instagram. That'll really give you a good visualization of what we do here on our yes. Instagram. Yes, we eat with our eyes first. Totally. So I love that you're on social. Thank you so much, Chef, for having me out this morning. My pleasure. Roma, Paul. Okay, Roma, I know you love your ahi. I could totally see you getting down with this. How awesome does this look? It's, I'm in love. Oh. it's one of my favorite dishes. She She's not kidding. It's so refreshing and delicious. And yeah. now she can make it for us. Yeah, you've actually had that one. Yes, I, mean, just, I love it. Just perfect for summer. I couldn't think of anything else better. So. You know what? Me yeah. either.